Men, if you're in a heterosexual, straight relationship with a woman, one of the most important things you can do is to help her feel like a woman. I know that sounds basic and silly, but I promise you, it is imperative if you want great, sexy intimacy together. I'm Beth Darling, your sexy genius, founder of sexyedschool.com. Please go sign up for that email there and you'll get a little love letter from me every week about love, sex, and relationships and how to make the best of all of that. So, all right, so today I wanna to go into why it is so important if you're a male in a partnered relationship with a female, why and how you need to help make sure that your partner feels like a woman. All right, so um, she needs that because at work in the real world and stuff, there's so much that we are doing these days where we're not focusing on that romantic um, sort of um, gendered side of us, which is, which is cool and good. But when it comes to sexy, then we're looking for something with somebody and we, it helps to understand those dynamics. So um, now when I say a woman, I'm not thinking, and I don't want you to, that a woman is you know, weak, is less than, um, doesn't deserve respect or any of that bullshit, okay? It's the, the opposite action. So here's what I think you need to do. To make your woman feel like more of a woman, to uh, allow her to embrace that, to appreciate that, so that she wants to be the woman to your man, i.e. get naked, have sex, and feel good, and feel sexy and powerful, here are a few things you can do. One, I want you to respect and appreciate her, right? I want you to respect and appreciate her. Now, part of that includes doing whatever she's doing in the world, whether she's, if she's a stay-at-home mom, that's great. If she's a full-time lawyer, like I was, if, if she drives trucks, if she drives a train, you know, whatever her outside world is and her role in the outside world is, absolutely, I want you to respect and appreciate and, and celebrate her accomplishments in all of those aspects, okay? Those are phenomenal. They're really important to who she is as a whole, and that's what we wanna do, all right? So then you've got respect and appreciate her. You're gonna tell her, great job at work. I'm so glad, wow, you've got a raise. That's terrific. You've got a good review. That's fantastic. Things are going well, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. Now, the next one, I want you to help her to help her, not help as in caretake, like, you know, when you have kids and you're like, well, did you do your lunch? Did you, you know, you're doing all these things because you think they aren't capable, that they aren't responsible enough to be able to do that. I don't want you to adapt that tone with her, but rather things like in the morning when she's rushing out the door, just say, hey, honey, I know, I know you worked hard. You made your lunch last night. Did you grab it? I want to make sure you're well fed today because you've got lots to do and lots to accomplish. Um, or, oh, wait, I realized you haven't had your coffee. Let me give you this. Or, um, oh, wait, I saw that it's going to rain today. You might want to grab a raincoat and I'm going to go grab the umbrella for you, right? But to go out of your way to help without making her have to ask. Now, sometimes she absolutely should ask and then you should do so. But it really feels good when somebody, not in a patriarchal kind of way, not in a demeaning, but when somebody is just rooting for us and they're by our side and they're just making suggestions just because they know we have so many other things to worry about that some things might be overlooked or that they think of things and anticipate things that we might need and that's what I mean by help her um, in a really kind supportive way and then of course when she asks for help tell her I'm so glad that you asked me to help I, I would I love to be part of this you're doing so well I'd love to support you and cheerlead you and and, and help you like do everything that you are meant to do and succeed at everything you are meant to succeed at. Whether that's in the house, in the you know, outside world, in our relationship, or just for your own personal sake, all right? Um, so then I also want you to protect her. Now I know this feels a little like old fashioned, right? And I'm not a terrifically old fashioned person. I'm a very modern, Feminist, I believe in equal opportunities for every gender, non-binary, anything in the world, right? People, I believe in equal opportunities for people regardless of anything else. But I also know 
that all of us, we all want to feel safe. We all want to have a partner that protects us. And this particularly comes out with that old fashioned something subconscious that we've all been raised with, because it's not gone away yet, of sort of that prince that saves the princess. Now, mind you, when I talk to women about how to make a man feel like a man, which is also equally important, I promise you, I'm gonna tell them the same thing. I want them to protect you because it's important. Again, you deserve a partner who protects you just as much. But maybe there are slightly different ways that we do this that helps us feel more like a woman and more like a man. So how do you protect her without making it feel demeaning um, or insulting or that she can't protect herself, which is just not true? Um, so towards that, when I say protect, let's just imagine, for example, that you're out to dinner, that you're out to dinner, something very, very basic. Now, let's just say you notice that her water glass is empty. Now, no matter who she is, I am sure she's quite capable of flagging down a server and asking for water. But it is so nice to be with a partner who flags the server and says, hey, she, she needs a little bit more water, please. And we kind of look up and go, oh my God, it's, the, it's this idea that, that you are watching out for her, that you are noticing these. And yes, it's a lot like help, but it's, it's a little bit more proactive. You're doing something to benefit and protect her. And that feels good. Doesn't have to be major. Doesn't have to be you have to rush into the fire and save her. Because I mean, I hope you do, but I hope there's not a fire for that, quite frankly. But there are lots of other ways that you can do so um, in really kind, thoughtful, amazing ways that make us feel cherished and important, nurtured, that we've just got somebody by our side who wants to keep us safe. And that allows us to rest a little bit easier, not to constantly be on guard, right? Not to always be worried that everything, not to feel like we have to be tough all the time to take care of ourselves because that's exhausting. So those small little acts of kindness and protection um, are really key. If you're walking with her, if you're in a, a venue that's really crowded or something, kind of putting your arms around and, and maybe just asking her to stay with behind you and you carving the path so you walk through and she's not getting groped. Or if you're afraid people are groping her back, that you put her in front and tell her, all right, I'm gonna help push things through, but I'm gonna keep other people from touching you. Those are things that can make a big difference. Um, and if, if she's driving home late at night, just tell her, okay, I wanna know when you're leaving, so I'm watching out for you, or offer to pick her up so that maybe she doesn't have to take an Uber or get in a car with a strange man. There are all sorts of ways that you can do this that can feel loving and kind and supportive and respectful and still help protect her, that you are actually looking out for her and that you care about her well-being and safety and you're gonna do your best to do it. I promise you, that's a huge, huge gift for all of us. All right, and then the very last one, provide for her. Now, this, and you know, it used to be that when we talked about men providing for women, we, we really meant financially. That's like the only way we meant was financially. Well, these days, you may not have to financially provide for her because she may have a job, she may make more money than you do, and all of that's good, whichever way it is. But when I say provide for her, then we need to find ways that you are basically providing for her. Now, maybe that is on Sunday morning that you know she really wants to sleep in and sleep late and you unplug the phone or you tell her, turn your phone on, do not disturb. You are gonna sleep in. I'm not letting anybody bother you. I'll take care of anything going on in the morning. I want you to be able to sleep in. You, you need that, you deserve that. Um, maybe provide for her is to know that she's coming home late and that you're gonna have dinner ready for her. Right? That, oh my goodness, that's providing for. Okay, there are so many different ways that we can provide what people need. It doesn't have to simply be financial. Maybe it's, it's the holidays, right? Maybe she's generally in charge of scheduling the housekeeper, or maybe she's generally the one who does all the, the chores and cleaning and stuff and cooking. And maybe you just say, hey, you know what? Kind of enough, you've got too much on your plate. I'm making the decision 
and I'm going to either call the housekeeper in an extra time or I'm going to order some of this food so that it's there so you're not responsible for doing all of it um, or I'm going to take care of getting all the tables and chairs and whatever and are you sure are you okay just doing the food you know whatever that looks like but you are going to provide what she needs when she needs it and sometimes sometimes it's truly special just like with ordering the you know getting her refills on the water sometimes it's really special if you know what she needs to be provided with before she even realizes it before she has a chance to ask for it i'm not excusing i'm not saying she shouldn't ask for what she needs absolutely she should but there is a very again it allows us to relax and know that there's another set of eyes on us that's going to help make sure that things are going to go well for us as well as for the relationship and so if you do those things then you allow her to start again letting her guard down a little bit and soaking into her more feminine um, womanhood and that can definitely help in your relationship so those four things i want you to respect and appreciate her i want you to help her i want you to protect her oh and provide for her all right four things respect appreciate um and protect and provide for her all right there you go make her feel like a woman so that she sees you as a man and like i said the goal is that then that attraction that chemistry that spark that excitement shows up and both of you want to get naked and have all sorts of sexy fun together if you like this video please like give me comments below give me your feedback give me your thoughts give me ideas tell me how this works for you any and all of that but like this video subscribe to the channel stay tuned and go to sexyedschool.com and find my podcast come with us podcast because there's all sorts of good stuff for you to learn there too again i'm beth darling your sexy genius and i'm so glad to be with you help her feel like a woman and see what a change it makes in your relationship